What's up YouTube, it is Sean with 614 Inc. Reviews and How To's. Just wanted to take a quick second today to thank you for tuning back into the channel and to remind you to please like, subscribe, and comment below. Your support is what makes videos like this possible. So without further ado, let's get into another one. YouTube today we are going to take a look at my GE profile PVD 28 BYN FS spot resistant stainless refrigerator um, I had this thing installed at the end of February and currently at the time of this video is at the end of October and so I've lived with this thing for about eight months and so you are going to get a true unbiased um, comprehensive review um, I am a contractor I did get contractor pricing I install appliances um, for a living and I could have chosen any brand GE profile to me um, was the best bang for the buck and I am big anybody that follows my channel knows into Wi-Fi features and this um, unit had more of the Wi-Fi features than any of the other units I saw out there um, and that is what drew me to it and so I will go over um, the pros and cons of this unit with you and uh, hopefully make your buying selection uh, a little bit easier than what mine was because I basically had nothing to go off of and so we'll start right now with the freezer drawer um, as I say anybody that follows my channel knows me I'm extremely particular and love organization um, you can see right here that this thing offers um, lots of storage space and it allows you to customize your drawers which makes you know storing things super simple so we've got like frozen dinner foods here frozen dessert foods here ice cream bars things of that nature flavored fruit ice cubes for the kids frozen breakfast foods here and frozen lunch foods here and so with your four drawers and these dividers slide left and right I'm sorry, with your two drawers that are able to be divided into four separate units, it makes organizing things by, you know, meals or, or time of day that you eat them a breeze. Also, the back of the slide out door itself has these two um, pocket storage bins here, which we keep uh, frozen ice packs uh, and like boo-boo buddies for the kids um, in as well. This drawer, um, as well as the flex drawer, so the freezer, the flex drawer, and the refrigerator are all um, controllable through the app. So you can adjust the temperature directly from the GE Profile app of your units. The thing about this flex drawer that I like, and I'll show you the storage space in here, um, is that it does all the guesswork for you. And so if you hold this control lock button for three seconds, it unlocks the control panel, and then you can select meat, beverages, snacks, or wine. The temperature for all of these settings is preset. I have no idea what the recommended temperature for beverages is supposed to be, or wine, or snacks, or meat for that matter. GE Profile preloads all of that. And so, depending on whatever you're going to store in this flex drawer, they set the temperature for you, and boom, you hit the button, close the drawer, and you know that your um, items are being properly chilled at the correct temperature. Also, one of the things I want to note is this can be double stacked. So you can put a can on top of a can and the same thing out here, a can on top of a can or a bottle and still have enough room to close the door. And so because of that, this holds a ton of beverages. Um, you will have no shortage of storage space um, for all of your drinks, kids and adult. Up here, you have your control panel. Um, you hit this little gear icon, this little settings button, and you can see that it wakes the panel up and you have control lock, which Literally, these things are all controlled. You can hit the up arrow and adjust the temperature. Um, you can cycle through here and you know go to freezer, uh, door alarm, ice maker, Wi-Fi, whatever have you. And if you want to adjust it, you literally just push on or off right here on the control panel. So super simple. All of this is also controllable through the uh, through the wireless app on your phone, computer, tablet, whatever have you. Um, your ice function here. You have you know crushed or cubed. Again, all touchless. Your light here, you can make it um, motion censored or on all the time. We like it on all the time. It's obviously LED, doesn't require much, much electricity and just looks a lot better, especially at night. It's the nice cool blue, um, like clean white color. Opening the unit, this back full panel LED wall light is awesome. 
This video does not do it justice. This completely illuminates the refrigerator and there's also a big LED strip light up here. So believe me, when you open this thing, it nicely displays all of your stuff that is stored inside. Um, getting to some of the cons really quickly. This bin up here, you can see that we have basically nothing in it. It is super shallow to the top of the door. So when you close it, like let me grab the smallest condiment bottle that we have, some sesame seed oil here. That's a very small bottle it still doesn't make clearance with the top of the refrigerator, it hits. And so just be conscious, like you could conveniently store like sticks of butter or packets of you know whatever you have that are very small and low profile up there, but for the most part, that's a relatively unusable drawer. Um, that said, these go three deep. I mean, these are large bottles here as well as here and they go three deep and they are big, large bins. They cannot be configured. You cannot move them up or down. Um, they are where they are, but there still is lots of storage space. So that was one of our concerns when we bought this unit. Turned out really not to be a problem for us because you know we have, I think, more than your average amount of condiments, as you can see, and we're still able to conveniently store them. Um, up your shelves can be configured any way that you want and actually I removed a shelf that came with another one We have it downstairs in storage because we put all of our drinks here But there's even another shelf that you can put up there. These two fresh drawers are soft clothes So you can slam them and they you know have the air shock that absorbs the impact so your drawers aren't slamming um, Which are kind of nice. It's a luxurious feature um, and again, it allows you to conveniently organize your refrigerator we've got like dairy here and we keep vegetables here and we keep our fruits and stuff up here in the actual refrigerator there's your door alarm which i'll shut it so that it's not annoying but uh, when the door is open for a specified period of time which is great if you have kids it will send that nice you know not obnoxious chime to let you know hey the door's open time to close it you're losing all of your refrigeration um, that can be turned on or off if you do or do not wish to have it. Um, and then also what I was starting to show you is these drawers can be adjusted depending on what you have. So you can, you know, fruit or vegetables, you can slide it and you see that it adjusts the amount of air that it allows into the drawer to even more um, accurately store whatever it is that you have in there. Um, short of that, the only other major thing to note on the inside, two things actually, is the ice maker. This is the biggest con of the unit. I'm gonna try and do this one-handed. So this lever just pops down, this door opens up, and this is your ice bucket. Um, the ice bucket is easily removed. Again, I have one hand right now. I'm filming this video with my phone, and I was able to do that no problem. It does not hold very much ice. It is not very deep. And so if you are having a party or a get-together, you will run out of ice very, very quickly. And so we always make arrangements that if we are having a family function or friends over or whatever, we buy a bag of ice. Um, and that was something that we knew going into this. When you have the you know, ice maker in the door, you're sacrificing um, the ability to have you know, large amounts of ice. It's something that you should just be aware of. If you're unwilling to live with it, then this unit is not for you. If you are willing to live with it, then you will need to make alternate arrangements if you use lots of ice. Um, the door and door feature, if you look on the back of the right handle here, there's a little button. If you push that button, it only opens half of the door, um, which just slides out only the bottom row of condiments. This is kind of a gimmick. I think this is gonna be a dead feature in a couple of years. The idea is if you just need a bottle of ketchup or a condiment, you store whatever you use most often in this bottom drawer and you can quickly and conveniently access it without losing your refrigeration, which saves on your um, energy bill. So, you know, you just quickly open and close and none of the refrigeration comes out and the unit doesn't have to work as hard to recool itself back down. Um, the Wi-Fi app, before I forget, also can control the brightness of the back LED wall panel. You can adjust it. I have it currently at 100%. Um, and again, the temperatures as well. So you can adjust the temperature of the upper unit, the beverage drawer or flex drawer, whatever you want to call it, as well as the freezer drawer. And so uh, the autofill, last thing I will leave you with. 
the autofill function. If you've watched any videos from GE or researched these uh, units, the idea is you set a glass under here, you hit autofill, you walk away. If you watch GE's official video, she has this like magical carafe that is perfectly the exact size you need it to be. That is kind of a, a myth. Um, I'd say it will fill your drink up to about 75%. Uh, it never gets at 100% full. To me, it's not a problem. It's still a benefit because I can set, you know, we drink out of Yeti tumblers often. And so my Yeti tumbler fits under here perfectly. Um, and, you know, I'll set my Yeti tumbler under there and I will hit autofill. I will walk away. It'll fill my drink up to about here, um, about here-ish. And then I can come back and in a matter of seconds, now I stand here for maybe three seconds. And so it does save you time. It is a useful feature. Is it perfect? Absolutely not. Have we ever had overflows? Yes. Um, it seems to fill up small drinks better than big drinks, but something to be aware of is if you hit autofill and you walk away and you just wash your hands, um, I'd say like one out of every 50 fills, um, for whatever reason, it doesn't sense it right. And so just be mindful, you know, you don't wanna hit that button and leave the room. You wanna hit it and you know maybe keep your eye on it just to ensure that it doesn't overflow because it has happened. And then you know, you've got water cascading down the refrigerator and if you have hardwood floors like me, you know, that's not an ideal scenario to find yourself in. And then the last thing I will say, and let me grab a cup, I apologize. I'm gonna have to give you a, a bad camera angle here for a second, but um, the last thing I will say is, so when you set a cup in here, um, you can see that the actual water dispenser is in front. And so this video makes it hard to see. This cup is very wide, it's a wide mouth cup, but if you have like a narrow bottle or something like that, sometimes you have to actually hold the cup and angle it out to make sure that this dispenser, I mean you can see the width of my finger, it's coming out well past my knuckle, to make sure that this um, water dispenser isn't actually out past the cup. Because if you're filling up a narrower glass or a narrower bottle, like a, a true water bottle, this will be out past the hole that you're trying to fill up and then you're just gonna be shooting water down onto the tray. And so it doesn't bother me that we have a ton of cups where I'll hold it and I'll angle it outward and I'll just hit the back with my hand. Or you can set it on the track so that it's not touching all the way back. You just simply slide it forward a little bit to ensure that this water spout is actually pointing in the opening of the cup. Um, so that was one thing that we were unaware of and we actually found out the hard way the first time it happened. We went to fill up a cup and you know the, the water dispenser and the opening in the cup were offset and we you know shot water on that initial push down the, the, the front of the um, unit. But once you're used to it, no big deal at all. Um, and the last thing I'll leave you with is the spot defense coating is phenomenal. The old stainless steels, they were hard to clean. The fingerprints would like etch themselves in them and you had to use like baking soda paste and stuff to get them out. I use, and you may have saw it when I got my Yeti Carafe, I cleaned it up before this video, a warm um, water on a microfiber rag and I just wipe it down and there's not a fingerprint on this thing or spot on this thing. I mean, this is eight months old and I have two kids that are constantly trying to break in the ice cream drawer to get popsicles. Um, I mean, from from that beverage drawer down is just covered in children's handprints, you know, all day, every day. And you can see that it looks as good as it did the day we got it. I mean, it, they clean up really nice. All right, everybody. I just want to take a second to thank you all again for tuning into the channel and remind you to please like, subscribe, and comment below. I appreciate your support, and I look forward to seeing you guys on the next one. Take care.